Well, the RMV threatened to take away his driver's license if he didn't switch to Massachusetts plates. The only problem is he doesn't even live here. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm Chris Tanaka. David's off tonight. Yeah, tonight WBZ is trying to track down the source of this registration frustration before a man could lose his license. Tammy Mutasa is live tonight in Revere with the story. Tammy. Chris and Lisa, it is a catch-22, and this young man is really frustrated. He just wants someone with the RMV to listen to him, and he says so far that hasn't happened. So tonight I reached out, and the RMV says they are digging into this case. It's really frustrating. I think I've made at least like 100 calls and emails. What started as a fun visit to Boston last fall has turned into a nightmare bureaucratic battle between Ben and the RMV. Ben lives and works in Virginia. He came to visit his friends in Jamaica Plain for a month with his car. He parked on the street. I guess a nosy neighbor called the RMV tip line to say that my car was parked on the street for too long. Now he says the RMV is forcing him to register his car in Massachusetts and get a second license plate by Friday. Otherwise, according to this letter from MassDOT Enforcement Services, his right to drive in Massachusetts will be suspended and the suspension will be reported in Virginia, which could also revoke his license there. He says he even had a hearing with the enforcement unit and they were adamant he has to dual register. If you're not going to operate it well, you have to leave people alone. <laughs> in this case, like I don't live in Massachusetts, I don't have an address in Massachusetts, I don't work in Massachusetts, and yet somehow I'm in this big trouble with the RMV. It doesn't make any sense. Other out-of-state drivers agree. I'm not paying for it. They argue that thousands of visitors drive to Massachusetts for long stretches, and many don't even bother registering their cars after 30 days, as the law requires. So I live in another state, and I'm visiting. Why, why should I have to register my car in the state that I'm visiting? It makes absolutely no sense, just for the money, obviously. I think that's definitely, like, kind of ridiculous. Ben's only other option now is to appeal the decision. But that process will take longer than his Friday deadline. If my license gets suspended, I'm, I don't know. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. Now, the RMB says they are researching this case and will let us know when they have all the information. They also add that they're committed to helping people understand all the information to their programs. Live in Revere, Tammy Mutasa, WBZ News. Incredible. All right, Tammy.